If you want an easy system to study 10 times faster from today, then you've come to the right place. Because throughout my undergrad and postgraduate degrees, and now at med school, I've studied for thousands of hours. And over the past year, I've been using AI to study better so that I still have time for more of the things I care about. So I'll go through a five part system so that you can do the same. And the last point is especially good for exam week, so stick around for then. So first, I have a question. When you write notes or go through your classes, how much of it do you remember? Because for me, I don't remember much when I first take notes compared to when I go through them after. So the sooner I get to reviewing my notes, the better it was for actually learning. But for school or uni, the classes aren't organised in a way that's good for taking notes. And that meant spending a lot of time to make notes good enough to revise from. So the first way to use AI software like ChatGPT to study faster is by using it to optimise your notes. And there's a few ways you can do this. One way is to copy the rough notes that you took, or even copy the notes from your teacher's presentation and ask the AI to systematically organise the notes. This could be asking it to create a table so that you can easily refer back to different points and topics instead of scanning through a load of text. Or it could be asking it to organise your notes into different sections, like separating your notes into definitions, key concepts or formulas, and make it fill in any gaps. This is going to cut down a lot of your prep time so that you can spend more time on actually learning. So now that you have organised notes, I have another question. What do you think is the best way to study? Because students use all kinds of techniques, from rereading their textbooks to studying with friends. But when you do an exam, what are you doing? You're answering questions. And doing practice questions has good scientific evidence for studying because it's a form of active learning. Because it's this active input where you think critically to take information out of your brain that helps you learn, which passive forms of learning won't do. But if you've done this before, you know that making questions takes a long time. So instead, use AI to generate questions. This can be to make questions from your notes or make questions specific to your exams. Like my exams are in a multiple choice format, so I asked it to make questions from my notes in the same way. And you can take it a step further by making it aware of your grade at school or uni so that the questions are personalised to your level. This is going to save you the hours you would have spent making questions so that you can use the time to actively learn instead. But I've noticed that quite a few of you have the problem of not knowing where to start or not having any notes to begin with. But whatever you're studying, there's always learning objectives you can follow and AI can help you streamline this in a few ways. The first is by copying your learning objectives and asking it to create brief notes on the key concepts so that you can build your core understanding of the topic instead of focusing on the small details. And again to take it a step further, personalise it by asking it to create notes for your education grade so that you learn the right level of detail and don't waste time on things you don't need to know. The second way to help you get started is by using AI to direct you to websites and resources specific to what you need. Like I know a lot of you will be sitting your GCSEs neat and MCAT soon and there's quite a few YouTube channels and websites that you might not have heard of that AI can direct you to so that you have a good amount of resources to cover what you need to know. And yeah there is the fact that AI won't be 100% accurate but it hasn't been an issue for me even at med school. Like it's only really an issue for very specific or high level things. And now even when you have your study material some topics are just difficult to get through and you probably don't have 24 7 access to a teacher so you end up with a lot of unanswered questions. So what you should do is use AI as your personal tutor. And there's a few ways to do this. If you're struggling with a certain topic, tap your understanding of the topic and ask it to assess your knowledge and fill in any gaps. This is helpful in two ways. First, it encourages critical thinking since you actively engage in your learning by explaining to your AI tutor and then it helps you strengthen your weaker areas by giving details on the parts you don't explain properly. Doing this and asking it to make questions is a good way to improve your understanding so that you're ready to move on to the next topic. And now the next point helps with the idea that a lot of the time we don't don't know what we need to improve on. So what you should do is use your AI tutor to mark your work and give you feedback. Unlike teachers, AI isn't limited by time or energy, so it can give detailed feedback personalised to you in seconds so that you know exactly what you need to work on. And that could be by asking it to mark your essay against a marking criteria so that you can improve on it before your deadline, or sharing your answers to questions that you never seem to get full marks in. This can help you see if you're missing working out in a maths problem or missing a point for a three mark question. As you keep using it as a personal tutor, you'll pick up on your common mistakes and eventually you'll learn to avoid those mistakes by yourself. And now I'll ask you another question. What do you normally do during exam week? A lot of students skim through a bunch of their notes or try to cram new things, but this isn't efficient and you know that it just stresses you out even more. So what I do is, on top of practicing exam questions, I make high yield summaries for different topics. And there's two ways to use AI for this so that it can make exam 
exam week less stressful. The first is asking AI to condense your notes into a cheat sheet summary so that you can easily refresh your understanding without being weighed down by thousands of notes the day before the exam. The second is to create cheat sheet summaries from YouTube videos by simply copying over the transcript from the video into ChatGPT. The benefits of these cheat sheets is that they're surprisingly well organized, making them easy to go through with friends. So it's a good way to quickly teach each other and ask questions so that you can make exam week less stressful. So using AI is an easy way to make studying during exam season more productive. And if you know of any other AI study tips, leave a comment below so that others can benefit. But a problem that AI doesn't solve are the study mistakes that a lot of students, including high achieving students, make. So in this video here, I talk about seven common study mistakes and how you can solve them to become a straight A student. So click the video to learn more.